Hey, how's it going, you guys? Sam with Taku, back with another unboxing. This time, we are going back in time to the My Hero Academia Season 1 Limited Edition. So at a certain point, I went back and I had bought all of the limited editions that I just haven't gotten to yet. So these are both Season 2. We've already done Season 3 Part 1. And then I don't think Season 3 Part 2 is getting a second limited edition. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first one. Obviously, and we'll work in kind of uh, from the first one up. This one is very hard to get. I'm going to go ahead and start opening this. So I did a quick search before recording to see if I could get a price to tell you guys. Um, and this thing is just unavailable on any sort of like your official retailers like Funimation themselves, Right Stuff. Amazon has it through third party people, but they're asking like 150 bucks for this thing. So the best I could find was anywhere between about 80 to $60 is what it hovered at when it was, you know, good in stock. Uh, I remember buying this because they were running out of stock. So, you know, it's always a good idea to buy if you want a limited edition because sometimes you they go away and you cannot get them. So here's what we have inside. We have all the discs here. Kind of feels like a loose disc in that one. That's I hate to see it. Um, fight with, very comic style. There is the back of one of them. We'll, of course, open these up as well. There's the back of the other one. Very cool. I love it. So we're going to set those aside for now. We're going to go through the extras. So as always, all the limited editions, they come with this little sheet. I don't believe I showed it. So here's all the technical info. 325 minutes only. Not bad. Our story. Spoilers. Here's the extra. Meet the characters. Anime Expo 2016 panel. So yeah, this came out a while ago. From Studio Bones, the, the creators of Full Metal Alchemist and Soul Eater. Never seen Soul Eater. So... That does nothing for me. And then here is the back with a picture of All Might. Uh, pretty cool. I was checking to see if it had the same picture. For some reason, I thought All Might was on that cover. There's the top. Sturdy box. I love these collector's edition boxes. They're very nice. So here is the limited edition art book that came inside. Oh, brand new. You can tell it's just never been opened before. Look at, dude. Imagine being so talented that you could draw that. Like, how insane. Not to get off the My Hero Academia bandwagon, but I just finished One Punch Man Season 2, and I've been going back and reading the manga and trying to catch up so that way I can be up to date. And the guy, I can't remember his name at the moment, but who's doing the artwork from for uh, One Punch Man, who's like going back and making it all fancy and looking like at least Season 1. Beautiful. That guy is mega talented. Crazy, crazy talented. So we're just going to flip through, take a look at all the characters. Um, they have their names here, which is good because if you're someone like me, as I always say, I cannot fucking remember character names. I remember Deku, Bakugo, Todoroki, uh, Ura, Urachaka, I think that's about reaching my limit. Obviously, of course, All Might will throw them in there as well. So we've got some of the other heroes in here, the president. I have some friends, though, who, like, they remember the name of every character. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that one part, part where uh, Mount Lady did... It was like, who the fuck is that? Or a fucking backdraft? Like, okay. I guess that one should be pretty easy. Just think of the ride at Universal Studios. And then here's the last thing. Funimation. Uh, copyright. Yada, yada. And then more black. Super cool. I am a big fan of all the art books that come in with all of the limited editions. I like them. They're cool behind-the-scenes look. And then what this thing is, I'm not sure. My Hero Academia Student Notebook. Um, it's just a notebook. Yo. Uh, oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. So super cool. So this is the very first limited edition they ever did for My Hero Academia. Um, not too much, you know, wow and pizzazz. So, I mean, look at the comparison. So this is... Season 2 Part 1, which we'll do in the next video. I'll link to it at the end if it's already up. And they have the Blu-ray slash DVD, I think, in one instead of two containers. And then this is probably the art book. And then this is all the extras. So this will be like your extra goodies and things like that. Same thing with the other season. It's right there. They have the same setup. Same thing with Season 3 Part 1. So this was probably their first go. And then they're like, fuck, people love My Hero Academia. So then they just rolled out the red carpet for the rest of it. So one last thing we're going to do is we are going to open up the case. Oh, it is. Okay. There you go. I just had it upside down. Oh, okay. There's a keychain inside. Cool. Dude, look at his face. He's looking creepy. Okay. Cool. 
My Hero Academia, now read the manga, I already do that. That's just an advertisement, it's pretty standard. And then inside we have the two discs, I'll turn them straight up here. Pretty cool artwork on it, I like it a lot. So these are the DVDs in case you could not read yourself. 8 through 13, 1 through 7. I'm going to put everything back inside. I thought there was maybe a broken piece in that other one, but it was just the keychain. So this is going to be the Blu-ray. Um, we've already shown the front and the back. Weird that they have... Uh, oh, I know exactly what I was going to say. It's weird that they have more discs for the Blu-ray than they do for the uh, DVD. But usually with the... And it says right here, with the uh, limited editions, if you're buying this solely for the DVD, I understand that you're probably future-proofing and make sure you want to have it on Blu-ray. But a lot of times the extras will not be on the DVD disc. So all the extras that you want that come with the limited edition, I think a lot of the on disc extras come with the regular edition as well. I'm not 100% on that, but um, they always come on the Blu-ray because I just think the Blu-ray can hold more info and it just makes sense. So episodes 10 through 13 plus extras, episodes one through nine, and then there's a disc just of extras. I'm sure like the uh, anime expo panel is probably pretty long and then whatever else is on there. So pretty cool. So I am a big fan of all these limited editions, as I've said multiple times. Um, I do want to say I would not recommend going out and buying this off of some third-party seller. If you can ever find it and they come back in stock, which every once in a while they do, right? Stuff for Funimation, watch them. Sometimes they will have a couple extra ones. Wait for that to happen. Do not go out and spend $150 on this. I mean, unless you're some crazed collector who just missed their chance and you just have to have it. You know, you do you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But... Normal person, just go for the regular My Hero Academia. Check this out. This is what we got. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. As always, this has been Sam with Otaku. I hope you guys appreciate it. I will be making more videos for the other limited editions, and they'll be linked to at the end if and when they go up. They're over there. And if you did like the unboxing, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.